Welcome to the era of AI. Hello and welcome. In this video, I would like to show you how you can schedule your content. Now, I'm not making a promotion for the website if you're looking at it right now. This website is called Sophia Gold, and I built it for the purpose of promoting ClickBank products through what we call the attractive character. So I created a persona, a character using AI. And some of you might think, well, is this ethical, non-ethical? Of course, that's just uh, something that everybody will have to decide with themselves. For me, I think that this is ethical, creation, creating a persona that resonates with people since we know that the old way of doing marketing doesn't work anymore. So I decided that I'm going to create this uh, personal brand. I'm going to call it Sophia Gold. And uh, through it, I'm going to run some advertisements and so on and so forth. And so what we do, basically, me and my partner, which, which also happens to be my brother, uh, we post on social media these days, for these past two weeks, just so that we can warm up, uh, we can warm up the uh, accounts on Facebook and on Pinterest, because our traffic is going to come from pay Facebook and Pinterest. And these are some examples of the pins that we have created. And I also in the course, I show you in the model module of social media, how you can create such pins, right? Using Leonardo, a Leonardo Phoenix. And uh, yeah, generally speaking, Leonardo Phoenix and Canva Magic Studio, right? And so for instance, uh, there's multiple ways of how you can post. So you can post manually by coming here and by posting manually, uh, which might not really be great because you might want to just plan your content ahead of time. So you might want to uh, put a day or two to create all the content that you're going to post for the next two weeks. And then you might just want to schedule that to run on automatic. So Canva has this great feature which allows you to schedule content. So we're going to take the example of Pinterest, for instance. Let's say that you want to schedule your content for Pinterest. Now, it's great to have different content planners. Don't put everything into one planner. Uh, so if, for instance, if you'd like to post on Pinterest, better off create a planner for Pinterest, right? And if you want to post for Facebook, better have a planner for Facebook. Don't mix platforms up because that is going to crowd your planner. But as of now, let's go and explore what this planner is all about. Now, here I'm in Canva, so I'm just going to click canva.com. Now, if you want to find a planner, there's two ways of how to find it. The first way is as follows. You go to canva.com. You wait for it to load, obviously. Now it's taking quite some time for it to load. And once it loads, you have this option here, which is called apps. And if you click on apps um, here, you can see the option, which is content planner. Now, if you click on content planner, it's going to take you right here and you can actually start planning. Now, see that this is a, a planner that I've created. Now, I can always add a new post or anything to this planner. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to go ahead here and I'm just going to remove these posts. OK, let me just click. All right. So this is a post I scheduled and it's uh, normally it should go and run on automatic, uh, which I don't want. So if I want to delete this, I have to click it. And I'll delete it. Now, let me show, I'm going to show you how you can schedule a content. So just give me some time. But I'm going to click here, delete the post. And I'm also going to delete this one as well because uh, these posts were scheduled just as an example before I uh, decided to record this, this uh, section or this lecture. So here we go. Now, the thing here is uh, that you have to know is you need to link accounts. So in order for you to be able to post on a platform, you obviously need to link the page. So in this case, this is the page. This is my page. Uh, obviously, my brother has the uh, page. He's living in France. I live in a different country. So he has the page. OK, he has the page. He has the he manages the page. But if I wanted to, uh, let's just say, post on this page, I would have to connect this page to Canva. So a way to do this is, first of all, pick a day where you would like to post. Now, obviously, now, so one hour, we're going to go to uh, 1, um, uh, 12, 12 p.m. So it's uh, it's 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 uh, basically midnight here. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to 18 instead of 17. Uh, this is the day I'm going to schedule the post. So if you want to schedule, you can just hover over here and you'll see that button. Don't click anything. Just hover and click the plus icon. Now, once you click the plus icon, you see all this stuff and you see this option here, which you can select a channel of where you want to post. You know, uh, you can put a, you know, you can put a description to the post or a caption. But what I'm, I'm teaching you here is far more advanced. So here, here we go. I'll go to canva.com. Now, First of all, you have to create your post in Canva, okay? So if your post is in Canva, uh, you have to make sure you know exactly where the Canva post is at, okay? So here we go. Now I'm going to go and take a post on Canva. So let's take this one, for example. This is a pin, right? This is a pin that I've created with Canva, all right? Manage blood sugar, manage blood sugar 
with gymna, gymnema sylvester uh, naturally. And you can see that this is the pin, right? So if I want to schedule this pin, I have to know the name of the pin precisely, the precise name of the pin. So this is the name I, I've used for the pin. So I'm going to copy it precisely. Then I'm going to go back to the content planner. Now here, you have the option to click on your project like this. And once you do that, you have the option to search for something by name, right? So if I search, it's going to give me the exact post that I need, and I'm going to click it. And once you click your post here, better yet, they're actually allowing you to select where you want to post this. So whether it be Pinterest, LinkedIn, or another Pinterest page, you can connect multiple Pinterest accounts, okay? Not just one. So for instance, in this case, uh, this is a, a, a Pinterest page I created a very long time ago, I think two years ago, when I just got started on Udemy at that time, I had zero students. I, I didn't know anything about uh, how I can make an online course or how to promote a course. So I just created this group here, which is now not there anymore. And also, uh, this is an example page, which is vegan snacks and appetizers that I created as an example for one of the courses we created here. Now, if I pick this one, I can actually add the title description, but you must be asking, well, we, we, we don't know how to connect a social platform. So how do we connect it in the first place? So you connect it by clicking on the select channel button. Here you obviously have an option, which is Facebook, uh, Pinterest, Instagram, LinkedIn, X, Tumblr, and so on and so forth. So these are the, uh, currently, this is where, where Canvas is connected with. And by the way, you don't need it to be connected with anything else, right? So Pinterest, Facebook, and Instagram, these are the, the best of the best. You can add X. For me, if let's say I want to do marketing, I do it on Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. That's it, okay? That's it. These platforms are incredibly good. If you can get a one of them, it's going to be great, right? So if you choose the medium, let's say you chose Pinterest, here they're going to actually showcase to you, uh, you know, some these are some, some um, posts that I have in Pinterest, but what you want to do, you want to click connect new account. So you want to connect a new account. You want to give access. And basically, once you give access, your Pinterest account is going to be connected. And similarly, you can do the same thing with, with Facebook or Instagram and so on and so forth. So when you connect your medium, you can just choose it from here. You'll find them here and you can just choose it. You can also, like I said, add a title. You can add a description. Description is a pin description. Now, in this case, I'm only going to take uh, uh, I'm only going to take this uh, title. But normally, a pin description is like this. So I have some pins here that I can show you. Um, this is a pin description, top five herbs. Da, da, da. So it, normally, a pin description has hashtags and so on and so forth and whatnot. All right. So this is uh, sorry for that noise, by the way. But this is the top health benefit of berberine for diabetes management. This is a pin. And if I if I actually go ahead and copy this like so. I can just come back over here and paste it. It's a, it's a pin description with hashtags and description and so on and so forth. And as you can see, now I can add a destination website. So because normally on Pinterest, you don't just have pins, but these pins are actually linked to a specific website. In this case, it is my website, Sophia Gold. So, and you can see the link here. So people click it and they go to a blog. I link to a blog where they can read more about that because that's the, 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 that's the importance of pinning. You know, you're not going to make a pin if you don't educate people about something in detail on a blog. Now, this is the blog link. So I'm just going to copy this blog link as a, a dummy link. And I'll go back to the content planner. And you can go ahead over here and paste the destination URL. Then here, if you want to control the exact time where you want this to go live, you can click here on these three dots. Click change uh, time or uh, change the timing. And you can decide to post this. Uh, I don't know. Maybe let's say you post it on 8. 46 or 800, whatever you, whenever you want to post it. Okay. And then when you, once you're done, you're done. And then you can actually click schedule. And once you do that, you'll notice that on your board, the post has been scheduled for, for, you know, get being posted. And you can even see the great thing about this is that they show you events here. So there's the international cat day event. There's international day of friendship event. And these are good because, but these are past days, but these are days where you can see that you might have something to sell. So for example, here, International Day of Charity, let's say that you're uh, specializing in the print-on-demand, you're a print-on-demand entrepreneur, and you're basically creating print-on-demand shirts, hats, and so on and so forth. Maybe on this day, you can schedule, you know, posting some listings about some designs specific to uh, charity, right? To get more people buying. 
because because on that day maybe there's a lot there's, not maybe but certainly there's going to be a lot of interest okay so uh, this is a great way and of course uh, not only can you uh, pub or uh, schedule one pin or one post you can schedule something else so you can schedule more pins now in my case uh, for example here and in the atomic habits there's this rule which is uh, when you do it when you have a habit you have to make it desirable you have to make it easy uh, you, you don't have to make it a habit where you do it and you just suffer and you just don't want to do it anymore because it's just pure suffering there must be some suffering but there must be some some parts of that suffering where you're having fun not in a sadistic way but you must at least be enjoying what you do in some kind of way you must be finding it fulfilling so that's why i don't post 30 pins a day even though i could but i post 10 because i can do it in one hour plus i can write the blogs with it and i can also do the facebook posts as well so and, and i keep it desirable i keep it uh, healthy a healthy habit that i can do every day uh, to grow a page or something like this so i don't recommend that you come and blast up uh, this uh, canva content schedule planner with a lot of pins per day but let's say that your uh, plan is to post three pins per day you can just come over here and click the plus icon and again uh, you need to search for the pin uh, in, in in this case i'm just going to go ahead and uh, grab one of the designs so let's say that for example i want this one uh, I'm just going to click it and it's a pin. And you can see here we have the title of that. So I'm not able to copy it. But you can choose the you can choose where you want to uh, pin this. And like I said, you can put the title here. And you can put the description, the destination website of where you want this to go. Now I'm just going to take some dummy, uh, dummy titles. All right, so I'm just going to fill the content. And of course, here when it comes to the uh, blog link, I'm just going to go to my blog and just get one of the blogs. One of the ex just a just a blog for um, any blog link. Normally, it shouldn't be any blog link because if you're planning this, then you have to put the exact link. Uh, but just uh, for an example, and you can schedule. Like I said, you can control the timing as well. And you can see that now, not only do you have one pin that is going to go live on the platform, but you have another one. And you can also click. And if you want to disable a certain thing from going live. You can actually click right here on delete post and you can do this again you know delete post and this goes as well with uh the same with facebook instagram so on and so forth so uh you can have some fun planning your content ahead of time and not just that you can actually plan months ahead of time right so uh you can work on something this month and then have it go live the other month and then maybe you can go and rest for the other month right this is the benefit of automation you don't have to actually go to the platform itself and start posting things manually. Now, though you're doing it here, but it gains you so much time because you can focus your energy on creating the content first. So say that you're creating a content plan for one month of content on Pinterest, Facebook, and Instagram. You can go focus to create the pins and the posts and all of that. Then once you're finished, you can dedicate two days or three days for planning the content but if you do it the other way around uh if you create the content and then every day you go to facebook and you just start putting it out there and then this next day you go to facebook or pinterest and you do it manually it's going to take you one month plus your mind and your energy is going to be dedicated to some things that you'd rather not because you can use that time to do something else that is the benefit of automation now, of course, uh, there's a lot of a lot more things that we can take from this. I could have made this uh, lecture into a one hour lecture, but I, I, honestly, I don't want to be uh, a liar. And uh, uh, what I want is just to teach you the basics. You can go and take this, uh, take this further. You can you can take this to the moon. And uh, pretty much I gave you everything you need to know about the content planner. So go ahead and make sure you do this. And uh, Passive Income Gen Z, wishing you the best and signing out. <laughs>